Hi world, this is Chad Dad One coming at you today. Um, where I was working today, this was very much similar to the scene that was happening. I was working at a house right across the street from the railroad tracks, about three miles out of town. And the uh, the back um, train with all these military vehicles had to have been about a mile and a half long, at least. It, it was a lot, I and mean, a lot of different types of vehicles, both colors, green and tan, you know, green color and tan, and uh, C CSX was uh, moving them. That's the railroad that runs. Now it was running from Jacksonville down along this line here, headed west. Coming to the east, headed west. I was talking to the man that I was working for about it, and he said the same um, similar size convoy had uh, gone through a couple days earlier. So that was two, that makes two large movements of equipment, of military equipment. And he said that that one was probably about a mile and a half, maybe two miles long. And he said there was all kinds of different vehicles on it also. And uh, like I say, he lives right across the street from this railroad track, this line right here. Right across the street. He said he sat and watched it go by. He said it took a good five minutes, because, you know, they got to slow down, and they, it's about three miles out of town, and they got to slow down some going through town, so he said it took probably five minutes for it to go by, seems like what he said, he didn't know, you know, for sure he didn't have his watch, top watch, but uh, these are all the different spur lines that can haul this equipment, and they do haul it, and uh, they are moving it. I've been hearing a lot of training in the air in the last three days, more than I've heard in a long time, with the uh, F-16s, you know, all different kind of jets. I tried to get a, a video of them, but man, they were so hard to, to catch on camera that I wasn't able to get them. But uh, if they're out tomorrow and I have time, I'll try to get some more. But yeah, we're seeing more, more movement more equipment being made by rail and a lot of it and different kinds too. So, you know, take take it what you will. But uh 
I just wanted to report that to you, let you guys know what was going down, where I was working, and uh, what had happened there two days before that. Um, not really happened, but you know, what went by. And I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope everybody's doing well. day tomorrow. Remember, prepare for the worst and hope oh no it's hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And you'll be alright. This is Chad Dad one. God bless good luck to us all. You never give up your right to bear arms. It's the only thing that stands between us and Toto total tyranny to take over from others who want us badly, who want to come in here and take us apart. I hope everybody's well. Take that one over and out.